With rebranding their new name, our new box, comes a new product line from the formerly known as Armada. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Mach-Q. A device review of the Mach 8 from our new box. And make sure you guys check out their other product line in the rnewbox.com. This has got to be the flattest device I've ever reviewed. Now it kind of reminds me of Fire TV or Apple TV box, but this looks more premium than that. Now I say this because of the level design on it. It's square shaped with rounded corners and the silver metal lining just gives it a better design overall. Now the top of the Mach-Q has a rough texture while the sides of the device has a smoother surface, but yet keeping it simple and minimal. Now to match the outside casing with its insides is the hardware in the Mach-Q has a quad-core A5 with an octa-core Mali 450 GPU and 1GB DDR3 RAM. Now sure, it only has 1GB DDR3 RAM, but what I know from the our new box is the level of detail they put into their own firmware. I'll talk about it more when we get into the OS side. Now if you have a lot of media collection, then the Mach-Q is not shy at all. It has two USB ports and one micro SD slot now for any of your external hard drives. Now onto the back of the device, it always makes me wonder how they fit all these ports into a smaller device. Now you got the Wi-Fi antenna capable of 5G, AV port, Ethernet, HDMI port, optical audio for your stereo system, and a power port. Don't be surprised, but yes, it is the same remote you see from every other device. But there is a difference with this one. You can quickly access certain areas of the OS with a press of a button. Like for example, pressing the yellow button brings up the total installer, so you can install new add-ons. Or the blue button quickly access CloudWord. And I gotta say, any remote with a play or stop button is always a winner for me. Now when you boot up the Mach-Q, you're greeted with the RNU box and pure Linux logo. And yes, it is a pure Linux device, an optimized version of Kodi as the OS. Now you might be wondering, wait a minute, it doesn't look like Kodi at all. Well, it is. In fact, it's actually Kodi 15.0 Isengard. Like I said before, when it comes to branding, our new box does it very well. Earlier, I mentioned CloudWord. Well, CloudWord is actually a quick installer with just one word. Certain words will install all or popular add-ons instantly. Now for example, 123AC will install certain add-ons like sports and news and many more. Now it'll the downloads are quick even when I'm on Wi-Fi. Now with a couple of seconds it'll install and you have a list of add-ons as I'm showcasing right now. And then you can start streaming in minutes. Now that's what I call friendly user interface. Now, just like the casing of the Mach-Q, simple and minimal, well, it shows on the OS side as well. As you can see, the metadata shows up instantly showcasing movie posters as I scroll down each movie trailer. Now, you can switch views on, of how you want it to be shown, but it's very limited, so I always stick to default. Now, let's go ahead and choose this movie to play its video trailer. Now do keep in mind that I'm currently on Wi-Fi right now and streaming through online. Now even with the 1GB DDR3 RAM, the video starts playing instantly. Right now it's showing that I'm playing a 1080p video with 2.0 AAC audio. Now I'll let the video play for a few seconds and then I'll start showcasing skimming through the video. Now as you can see, very little buffering happens when skipping through scenes in this trailer. Now let's go ahead and try another outlet for videos. Now I'm using the YouTube add-on on Kodi right now. Now as you can see, great video vivid colors even when I'm off screen recording while playing online. One thing I do love about the our new box is they pay attention to the updates as well. And that's always a plus when keeping up with the time. And they made it so easy with just a press of a button rather than the toothpick method. Now of course if you don't like the our new box skin you can always revert to the defaulted Kodi skin you're used to so you can be more familiar with it. 
Well, that wraps up my review of the Mach-Q. Now, my final verdict of the R New Box Mach-Q is branding is key when changing the name, and they do it so well that it's separated from their contenders. The Mach-Q Box's design is what I love the most. It's simple and very clean looking. The silver lining around the Mach-Q is brilliant and adds quality of their device. Sure, the remote isn't all that special, but it works and that's all you need. I've always loved pure Linux Kodi, reason being it's stable, polished, optimized to put it through anything you stream to it. Now CloudWord is a brilliant addition for newcomers and its friendly user interface anyone can install any add-on they want. Now overall the Mach-Q does its job for being so small and elegant and optimized for the streaming world. For more information about the Mach-Q visit rnewbox.com. If you like the video you have just seen, make sure you subscribe to us and like our video at youtube.com slash xbmconnect. And make sure you follow us at xbmconnect to all the social medias.